via YouTube, Joby from Oz here. So today's mission is to do some work on a project for Bruce. Um, he's got this piece of brass, a stack of neodymium magnets, and what we're trying to do is put a string of magnets down here. It'll fit into the top of the quill on his gearhead drill press. He's got a sensor there for RPM. So my plan here is to use hot melt glue to secure them in place and then wrap them with some high strength tape to ensure they don't fly off in use. I'll put the first one on and we'll see how we look. Okay, so got the first one placed. And it does have a little bit of a lip there, so I'm just gonna see if I can reseat that getting it down flush. Okay. So I believe that should be okay as far as extension past the face. Now it's time to get a second one in. All right. So I've developed a technique which seems to have got them all in there now. Just do a bit of tidy up on the excess glue, then I'll wrap it over with some packing tape to hold it in place. Come back again. All righty. Bit of clean up, now it's ready for some tape. Sort of in two minds about whether to add more glue at this stage, but I think that might be a round two if this doesn't quite stay in place. Alrighty. So we've now secured with tape. And so we're ready for a test. Let's take it around to Bruce's and we'll see if it works. Can you show what it's doing? Yes. Um so here's a piece of scrap, YouTube. We um, had the magnets mounted up into it and uh, tried it all out and had two issues. It appears that when the slot was milled, it's pulled the shaft out of square. So we were running about, on this one, about 150 to 200 thou off vertical, I reckon. So we wanted to test some things. So Bruce had made a steel one first to test the theory which we can now see in position on the top of HF 4642. 40, uh, 42. Gearhead mill. DMF 42. DMF 42. So what the clever boy's done is he's found something to mount into the top. I tapped, I tapped the thread in there. Oh, you tapped it? Yeah. Right. Because this is the draw bar yes. uh, for for when you're using it as a mill. Right. But I, because I don't use it as a mill, right. so I, I tapped I tapped an M12 uh, thread in there. Okay. And then if we can show that on the brass. Yeah. So I, I, I machined it and threaded it. Yes. And then cut the rest of this thread as a pilot into the old hole. So that, that would give it um, a, more of a, um, a spigot affair. So that's I've done the same thing here. Yes. Um, and so that that now turns around with the thing. With the <coughs> and Marcus has put these um, these little uh, magnets in there, so and that's, that's another point to be close. to be yeah. spoken about. Yes. Is the fact that they are, with this particular pickup that we've got that we've got in here, uh, it will only work with these in one direction. That's correct. Yeah. And that was uh, that was brought to my attention by somebody. Um, these magnets were sourced by Gert van der Merwe, uh, who also fitted up the made up all the uh, the arrangement here. And so this is the old cap. I drill the hole in the end of it so that the shaft will go down. And that clips in place here. Somehow or other. There you are. And then we turn the power on. And when when the pickup's working, the red light at the back here should um, should operate as well. So if we turn that around till the magnet touches, yep. comes in line with the magnet, it's now, now picking up uh, quasi speed. But what we'll do is we'll set it up in defer, into low 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 which is around about 95 speed 95 and it's picking up sense. Up the sensor is sensing it should red light should be flashing yep. 
and we're picking up 101, which is close enough for me. Uh, we could probably do some tweaking in this to bring it to correct. When, do you um, think this is correct, or do you think this is correct? Well, what I've got a, I've got a speed, uh, I've got yes. a pickup, so what we'll do is we'll put a reflective boiler here, we'll check the speed, yeah. um, and then we'll see that this can be adjusted, I think. Okay. But when Gert's here, when he come, he's arriving in Perth uh, to live uh, in a week or so, so when he comes up to visit me next, we'll have a look at that, because yeah. I don't know the workings in there, but I'm sure there is a there's some sort of a, um, a, an ability to tweak it. Okay, and so we've got a string of magnets. What's the reason for the string of magnets? I'm sure the astute amongst our viewers will know. String magnets here are, are so that when we advance or drop down the quill, yep. that there's always going to be a somewhere magnet. for the pickup to pick up. That's the one. Right there. So we had to put the magnets in, making so these, sure... This is a tramps and this is the pickup. Okay, yes. Technical terms? Well, a tramp gets a pickup. Well, there you go. Slap me ass and call me Charlie. on the shaft. Yes. It's, um... Sweet. All right, so we've got to read it 100. We've got blast off, so good. Thanks very, very much. We've got, uh, we've got our measuring stick here as well. Excellent. And that works very nicely. That was the last time when Gert was staying here. He paid for his board and lodgings by fitting all this up and fitting this up as well. Nice. So, uh, yeah, we were indebted to him. Yeah. But maybe we're not because he, he, we fed him and uh, that's so. Yeah. Swing, swings there. and roundabouts. So I think, yeah, swings and roundabouts were even Stephen. Yeah. But no, he tweaks this. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I reckon you just need to tweak this. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon the Chinese might have got this a bit wrong. Well, maybe they did, maybe they did. Yeah. They lose, all in they all, lose it's, about, a good, it's a good machine. They lose about 5% on the boat. <coughs> yeah, a big... <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're a bit lower down than where they are as well. Gravity's different. But, you know, this, a lot of people use these as, a, as their design for a mill drill. Okay. Uh, for milling as well. It's got the drawbar and facilities and everything, but mm. I only use it as a drill press. I don't use it uh, for milling so if because was... of the round column for one thing. Oh, yep. And uh, and I have two far more robust mills, which also helps. So yeah. sorry. Which also helps. But yeah, well, it's so so I only use it as a drill, mm. and it's a very good drill. Yeah. I'm very pleased with it. Works yeah. very well. Great. Um, the whole system works well, but we could do another one on that. The um, as usual, I take handles off everything. But it's oh, yeah. got a nice movement to it, um, and it's got a, an auto feed as well. Oh, cool. And it's also it also has a tapping a tapping facility, um, so you could use it as tapping. And it's got a, it's got a little micro switch down in here that reverses it. So, uh, so okay. if you're on tapping, um, and you yeah, well, that's that's your tapping, and then. Yeah. Automated this one's back. So you don't even need in this with this machine you don't even need a tapping head. Yes. It's all in here. It's all Lovely. So um Sweet. See, just, see this moment when I got this all set. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> upset. Well Congratulations. Marcus, we've done very well. Thank you very much. No worries. So if yeah. somebody was using this as a mill, they would still need to use that top hole as a drawbar. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes. But we so, could, I guess, potentially <coughs> make a, a hex on top and a drawbar with that as part of the assembly if somebody really felt the need to. Yeah. The problem, problem being, of course, when you've when you've got a drawbar, you you you, you normally tap that to release. Ah, the thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that might upset the the apple cart. The magnets. So yeah. <coughs> if somebody wanted to. Um, uh, to read out on the mill. To, to, to read the mill. The other the other method is the one that we didn't need to do yep. because I'm not using the drawbar, is to drill through the, the cover. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, 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 there's a cover here. Take the cover and then pick up off the gear. Yep. And then you get, uh, what's that? Then you'll be able from to there. measure the shaft. Yep. And then I that didn't want to get into the oil side of it. Yeah, okay. Because um, that's a sealed gearbox, is it? Yeah, it's an right. oiled gearbox. Yep. But it's not withstanding the fact that you could do it. Yes. It's not, uh, yep. um... Cool. Well, thanks for the lesson, sir. All right. Bring you back next time. Have a good day.